Peace. This is a meat and potato source of production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today I want to talk about, is there a time limit when you are dealing with magic? To answer this question, no. One of the biggest problems that I find with neophytes on the path is that they always want to do one of two things. One is they want to see whether or not magic is real or they put a time limit on whether a spell or a ritual can or should work in their favor. Let me say this. This is... When you're dealing with magic, magic is a journey. It's not Subway. You don't go, you don't get a turkey sandwich in five or six minutes. It's not like that. So also what can be defeating is that when you're not satisfied, you feel like, okay, maybe this isn't the path for me. I want to clue people in on something. Angels and demons will take the path of least resistance, but with angels, it will take a little bit longer when you petition them. When you petition them, think of it as they're painting a portrait and they take their time and they make sure that the portrait is something that they will be proud of and will be exquisite. So when you're dealing with magic, don't go into it thinking that if it doesn't happen in a couple days, if it doesn't happen in a couple weeks, that your spell or ritual was not successful. I can elucidate this story very quickly. Is that when I had did something with the Necronomicon, when I started out, really as a dabbler and dealing with magic. I felt that the Necronomicon was a work of fiction. And this was attributed to H.P. Lovecraft. And while there may be some fictional elements in it, the Necronomicon is very real because it has Sumerian and Chaldean magic in it. So certain rituals that I didn't think that worked, they did work. It just that it took some years because I had to go through a maturation process as a human being, as a potential magician. If you ever want to know if a ritual worked, I have said this so many times and I want to reiterate it. Get a journal. You can go and get a composition book from Dollar General or Family Dollar and always date it. When you do a ritual, date the day that you did the ritual and then wait and see what results are acquired. Like I said, the best time to really do magic is... When you're dealing with correspondences, that's one. But also, when your life is in turmoil. When your life is in turmoil and you're still doing the work and the magic, that's when the spirits, the angels, the demons, the fairies, the jinn, they will rally around you. So, please, do not go into a situation thinking that Magic has this time limit of when it will happen. It could be days. It could be weeks. It could be months. And it could even be years. Sometimes in the beginning stages, when you're a neophyte, what spirits will do is that they may grant you immediately your request. But that's to see that, okay, we've done this for you. Now will you proceed on the path? We've shown you that magic is real. Now what are you going to do? So, magic 
is a journey. And don't think just because you did a ritual and it didn't happen the way you think it should happen, that it didn't happen. The greatest thing that I learned when I said I didn't want a regular life and I want to make a difference. Let me say this to the listening audience. Just because you may be at home by yourself, don't think you don't have an audience because you do. So spirits are listening to you, your ancestors, angels, demons, etc. So that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.